Hi and welcome everyone. I'm Lisa. Thanks for joining me for another card tutorial here on YouTube and my blog. In this video I will be showing how to create a few fun cool cards with a twist. I'll share the products throughout the video and as always you can find them listed below or on my blog. The stamp set I will be using throughout the video is Concord and Knight's Cool Treats Turnabout. This stamp set includes the turnabout, six words, and four phrases, perfect for creating your own sentiments. It also includes eight elements that help add fun details to your card. I will be using my Misty for this card, and I do recommend using some type of stamping tool. We'll be doing a lot of repeat stamping, and it just makes things easier. Your turnabout stamp comes with an alignment aid like you see here. You use the aid to help align your stamp, ensuring proper alignment with each turn. Please be sure to check out Concord Knight's website for full details on using the turnabout stamp. So you're going to need a jig in order to use this stamp set. It makes things a lot easier. And I use simply made my jig with a scrap piece of paper cut to the same size as the alignment aid. I will be attaching the card panel that I'm using to the jig using Glue Dots Premium Removable Glue Tape. My card panel is an 80 pound Nina Classic Crest Solar White cardstock. I'm adding directional arrows to my jig to help me remember which way to turn it. You always want to turn your jig in the same direction once you start stamping. I'm going to fast forward through the stamping while I tell you the brands and colors of inks that I used. Starting with Memento ink in the color Morocco moving into Memento ink in the color Cantaloupe, then moving into a Simon Says ink in the color Willow, and finishing off with a Simon Says stamp ink in the color Audrey Blue. And this finishes the first card panel. For the second card panel, we'll be using the same process as the first. The inks are as follows. Starting with the Simon Says ink in the color Audrey Blue, moving into a Hero Arts ink in the color Grape Juice, moving into Hero Arts ink in the color of Ultra Pink, finishing off with a Simon Says stamp ink in the color Jelly Bean. So I went ahead and die cut all the pieces off screen to save time. I used scrap pieces of paper in the colors Aqua Breeze and Orange Tree. Unfortunately, the company I purchased from no longer carries the cardstock, but you can find like colors over at SimonSaysStamp.com or at other online stores. I used the Concord and Ninth Cool Treats dies to cut several pieces of the cardstock to create popsicles and snow cones. I used the Simon Says Stamp Wavy Scallop Stitches to cut the stamped pants card panels in half. And I cut several pieces of 80 pound Nina Classic Crest cardstock to stamp sentiments on. When you die cut these pieces, you want to purposely die cut the cardstock wonky. We want to cut the stamped panels so that we get two cards out of each panel. So I just want to add some details to our die cut pieces. So I'm going to lay these pieces out for the snow cone. Here's the top shaved ice part and here's the cone. I also used the embossing die to add the word sweet to the popsicles and here are the sticks for our popsicles. Using a few detail stamps from the Cool Treats stamp set along with some Simon Says Stamp Audrey Blue ink and memento ink in the color tangelo, I stamp the snow cone details. Once I stamp the details, I start to assemble the pieces using Gina K Connect Glue. Now I'm fairly new to this Gina K Connect Glue, but I will say that as of right now, I'm absolutely loving it and I see no reason that I would stop loving it. 
I'm going to use some VersaFine Onyx Black ink now to add some stripes to the bottom of our card bases. And the stripe stamp comes in the Cool Treats stamp set. I'm going to show you two ways to lay these out and a tip along the way. The first layout is very straightforward. Just add the die cut cardstock over the stamped panel and the stripes. The second layout is a little bit more involved. We're going to stamp images to fill the void between the stamped panel and the die cut cardstock. And I'm going to show you how to do this on the next card. So we are using 110 pound Nina cardstock for our card base, cut to four and a quarter by five and a half inches. You want to take that stamp panel and the die cut cardstock and arrange on your card base. You'll see you have a void there. You want to add some light pencil marks so we know how far in each direction we need to add these images. So we're going to be using these adorable hearts from the Cool Treat stamp set along with the Sparkle stamp. Now when I stamp, I like to leave my stamp on the paper for a few seconds just to give the ink time to soak into the paper and it'll give you a much better stamped image. I'm using Hero Arts Grape Juice Hero Arts Ultra Pink Simon Says Stamp Audrey Blue and Simon Says Stamp Jelly Bean Inks. I did decide to go back in and add one more heart right here. So now we're going to move this card to the side and we're going to do our second card. So for this next card, you'll notice that the void area, or what I'm calling the void area, is not very big at all. So I decided just to use the Sprinkle Stamp and some Hero Arts Grape Juice ink to fill that in. And it doesn't take very long to do this. And when I'm doing random stamping with small stamps like this, I really like to just use my acrylic block because I just can hit it so much faster. Now I'm moving on to the sentiment and I'm using the word sweet on all four of my cards. So I'm gonna stamp all four of those first. Once I have the sweet stamped, then I go back in with different colored inks and finish out the sentiments. And I add those little details around the sentiments with, on two of the cards. I'm using my ATG gun to adhere the stamped panels directly to my card base. And then I'm going to use 3D mounting foam to add the sentiments onto the card. I like to give it a little bit of dimension so once we have all of this assembled, I'm going to start adding some details to it by adding 3D mounting foam to the back of the popsicles and the snow cones that we worked on earlier and adding those on two of the cards to frame the sentiment. Now on the next two cards, I use the detail stamps to add some fun around the sentiments instead of using die cuts. I'm using my Pick Me Up Stick Glossy Accents and Honey Bee Stamps Aurora Confetti to add some sparkle to our card. Now I'm using this Pick Me Up Stick and it is such a great tool. It has like this gummy substance in the lid and you just twist the lid a little tight and that gummy substance comes out of the top there through a hole. Then I just loosen that back up so that it'll stop forcing it out. And then it comes to get, all of it comes together. This pick that you see me holding actually comes um, in the end of the pick me up stick. I'm gonna show you that here. So it comes like this. When you get ready to use it, you just pull that out. It has two different ends. This is a fine tip end here and the other has a blunt tip. Now this you take out whenever you're laying down your sequins or whatever you're working with, and you can actually press down on the sequin and that helps to pull it away from the gummy substance of the pick-me-up. It's a great tool to have. I probably didn't do it justice. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna continue adding some sequins here. I'm telling you, if you have not checked out the Honey Bee Stamps uh, confetti, you need to. It's so beautiful. 
Also from Honeybee Stamps, we have these glitter and clear enamel dots and I am in love with these things. I have never seen an enamel dot so clear and when you put it on you can see there that it just takes on the color of whatever you lay the enamel dot on and I'm going to tell you it's absolutely gorgeous. I hope that she <laughs> continues to carry these but I think I'm going to go stock up on them just in case something were to happen and she no longer carries them because they're amazing. Plus, I don't have the patience to wait for other things to dry. So here we are. All four of our cards are done. A lot of fun. These cards have a lot of movement to me with that wonky die cutting that we did. Um, and then stamping in those voided areas, adding the black and white stripes. There's just so much fun stuff happening here. So I want to say thank you so very much for joining me. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate you guys that you actually take the time to watch these videos. Amazes me every day. And I hope that you'll come back for the next one and the one after that too. And until then, my friends, take care and keep crafting.